Okay, Resident Evil Retribution, I mean, yeah, Retribution, the critical review. Uh, let's see. Probably, the, I'd have to say, the worst of all the movies. Uh, yeah, this one was just completely an action sci-fi movie. I mean, seriously, we started out the series with a survival horror type of thing, and then we slowly but surely became an action sci-fi over-the-top movie. Uh, what the hell happened? Um... The story was interesting, I'll give it that, but acting, dialogue, was just very, very cheesy. Uh, the action, I'll admit, was good at some points, but it was just, that was all it was, it, just action. Character, there was very, really nothing to the characters. I, if somebody got killed off, I really didn't give a fuck. I, I didn't care. It was just simple. Uh, so the, the 3D was alright, you know, it was okay. Uh, didn't really care for it like the last one, although I will admit the one thing, because I've been looking forward to this with uh, zombie movies in 3Ds, is to have the blood splatter on the screen, and for once they did that. There was a head in front of the camera, and Miljovich blew his brains out, and the blood went onto the screen, like, in front of you in the eyes. So I thought, that was good. I was like, I've been waiting for that for every, you know, 3D horror movie, so... And that was cool. That, I got something out of that, but other than that, it was just bang. Um, the one thing that annoyed me with the last film very much was that it was the movie was very pretentious. I'm very, very pretentious. And this one was the same thing. Yeah, did just pretentious with cheesy one-liners. Yeah, that, well, that was it. Um, I really just didn't care for it that much. Just much like the last one, I'll say it, I'll say it was entertaining. That's it. Just something to kill time with, or just to, if you're having a marathon with the first one, you might as well just watch them all, you know, just to entertain yourself. That's why we watch movies, just to entertain yourself. So, that's it. Nothing really to it at all. Nothing at all. I feel an aneurysm growing in my head. Oh, God. Oh. Barry Burton and Leon S. Kennedy and Ada Wong were the characters that are brought in this one. Uh, and they were dressed up like the characters from the game, but it just, because of the way they were going with this movie, it just kind of didn't make sense why Ada Wong was wearing that dress. Didn't really. In the game, it kind of made sense. But it was like, why was she wearing that dress? It's just, yeah. yeah. Much like I said in the critical review, the characters weren't much. They were they weren't even the characters from the game. They just looked like them. They're like the actor was like, I look like Barry Burton, I am Barry Burton, and that's it. It's just they were just playing a part. There was nothing really to it. And Kevin Durant, I really like that actor. He's a good actor, but I'm sorry, dude, I cannot see you as Barry Burton. It was like it was like uh, Mila Kunis and uh, as Mona Sachs and Mad the Max Payne movie. I couldn't couldn't see him as it, and when I saw the movie, just still couldn't. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mila. I'm sorry, Kevin. I like you both, but just couldn't, didn't fit the character to me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, the, but the one thing that really, really pissed me off with this movie, Albert Wesker's a good guy now. Yeah. Albert Wesker's a good guy. Ah. Uh, and they did it because... They brought back the Red Queen from the first movie, and she's taking over the world, wanting to kill every, basically, life life organism on the planet, so Wesker, I guess, decides to go good for it, but still, it's like, Wesker, I hope in the next movie that you have something up your sleeve to become the villain in the next one. Other than that, I, if you don't, I, I really, really am disappointed with you. Uh, seriously. Uh, so, yeah, the entire... The, the, yeah, that just pissed me off. Um... Uh, the, what was it? The, they brought Jill back in the last one as a little teaser for this one. She was a little, and she was a, the antagonist in this one, and uh, it was a, it was a good, a, a good adaptation of her from Resident Evil Five. So I will give it that. But as a fan, I really didn't like this at all. It was just it's, it's, it's hard to describe. You have to be a fan to understand it. But it just yeah, it's not that. I, I ho thankfully, hopefully, thankfully, the last one, the next one will be the last one. Uh, seriously, I'm sorry, Paul. 
you're an you make good movies here they're entertaining but by god you're destroying the Resident Evil franchise it's just ugh I can understand why you wanted to go you know do your own thing create your own stories and whatnot. but it's just there's somewhat adapting an interpretation and just going just destroying it and just granting utter blasphemy I mean seriously with it, the, the film series went from blasphemy to total recall I'm not saying total recall movies or the movies are bad I'm just saying he went you know he went I mean she gets put into an alter reality for a couple of minutes and then she's back into this and it's like I, I yeah. it's just he's just the entire series is genres keep switching between horror science fiction and action it's like choose a freaking genre will ya <laughs> oh well but uh and didn't really care for it. I guess, you know, both the critic in me and the fanboy in me will probably just give this, at most, like, a ha- one star. I'll give it that. Just one star. That's it. I, I can't, I won't say I'll give it a half a star, you know, but I'll, I'll give it one star, just, just at least. At least. Um, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I have no hopes for the next one. It's, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, story was story was rushed. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I mean. <laughs> Hello guys. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, uh, but if you guys wanted to see the Resident Evil video that uh, the friends and I made, uh, the link should be in the description below. It's four parts. Uh, a lot of people on YouTube seem to like it. Uh, so uh, thank you very much and enjoy the little fan film and have a nice day.